Hi, welcome back to Old House DIY. Today we're going to be making some lime putty. You've heard me talk about using it, well today we're going to be making some. I'll explain the lime cycle in a few slides later on in the video, but you really want to see me make it. So what I'm going to be doing is rehydrating hydrated lime, which is quick lime uh, that's been partly hydrated. It's powder, so we're going to be mixing lots of water with it and then leaving it to mature in an airtight barrel covered with a bit of water for three, four months, let it mature, and that will turn it into lime putty. So. These are the two types of powdered or bag lime that you can generally buy. Naturally hydraulic lime and hydrated lime. Naturally hydraulic lime is lime with an additive, so it will set in the presence of water. It's very similar to cement in how it's used. It is breathable, unlike cement, but it can be quite hard, so it's not suitable for modern, uh, for old brickwork or old stonework, because the mortar should always be softer than the stone or the brickwork. So NHL does have its places, but lime putty, which is what we're talking about today, is much more friendly for, for old buildings, and that's what we're gonna, we've made from this hydrated lime. This hydrated lime, is pretty much powdered quick lime, so we have to take safety precautions. So I've got a mask, a face shield, and some safety marigolds on. Let's open it up. Now we just pour it into the barrel and rehydrate it with water and thoroughly mix it. Now we just give it a mix with a paddle mixer, make sure it's all mixed through thoroughly. We're aiming for cottage cheese consistency, we'll add more water as needed. A lot more water needed. I'm going to be adding another bag of lime in here because this barrel will actually fit two full bags of hydrated lime. So it doesn't matter if I add too much water in this first mix. I'm nearly there with this first mix. So what I'm gonna do, is because space is tight, it will fit two bags, but just I'm gonna take some out, then mix up the next, add the next lot on top with some more water. Mix it all up, and then I'll just top the barrel up. So here we have a barrel full of rehydrated, wetted up, hydrated lime. Now this will, this is lime putty, or will turn into lime putty. We leave it in this barrel for at least three months to mature and then it'll be ready to use. But before we do, it's very important to make sure no air can get at it so it can mature. So we have to smooth the top down and make sure there's a just a thin covering of water over the top. This will 
help stop air get to it but we'll also make sure there's enough liquid in there for it to finish hydrating all the way through let's just add a bit more water and then the lid there we go now let's put the airtight lid on Right, now it needs to go away to mature for at least three months, somewhere where it won't freeze. So a back corner of the garage works fine for me. So let's put this one away. Because we've made this putty out of hydrated lime, it's possible that it's been sat in the bag in the builder's merchant for a while. So one of the things I like to do is to take a sample of the putty and just leave it somewhere to dry and set up and then we can see how it whether it's working or not here's a sample i did in my last batch you can see it's turned back to limestone so i'm confident about the last batch i'll leave this to set up and then i'll know with confidence that the stuff i've got maturing is going to be safe to use you've just seen the mix of lime putty now, I did threaten the boring science bit, so here we go, the lime cycle. The cycle goes from limestone, which is calcium, and carbon, oxygen, Ca, CO3. And as the cycle progresses, we'll see this chemistry change. So we go from limestone to quick lime, which is CaO, calcium and oxygen. And then from quick lime to lime putty, which is CaOH2. The question really is how do we get between the steps though? So to get from limestone to quick lime, we need to heat the limestone normally in a lime kiln up to about 850 degrees Celsius. That's not something we're going to be doing here. This heating drives off the CO2 and the CaCO3 goes to CaO and we end up with quick lime. But we can't use that, so how do we get from there to lime putty? We add water for well-known H2O, and this process is called slaking, and this is sort of what I've just done. Slaking releases heat, and this is what you're seeing in mixing hot lime. However, the slaking process can be quite violent. Thankfully, there's a halfway option, which is hydrated lime, as I use. Hydrated lime is a quick lime, which has already been slaked with a small controlled amount of water, so it forms the powder you saw me use. Then, I just add more water, or an excess of water, to to complete the reaction, adding H2O to CaO to form CaOH2. And then the final step is actually using it to turn on the lime putty with your aggregate mixed into it back into limestone. This is done by adding CO2, which comes from the atmosphere. CO, this slowly reacts, adding CO2 and uh, emitting water or moisture vapour and it converts, converts the lime putty back to a, a mix back into its original form. Limestone and that's the lime cycle. I hope you enjoyed this old house DIY video. Please stick around for more. Give it a like, give it a thumbs up and please think about subscribing. Thanks for watching.